Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video I'm going to show you how to install Arch Linux as a virtual machine using the automated installer. So here's a virtual machine I created previously. As you can see it's a Arch virtual machine using Cinnamon desktop environment. Um, there's not much installed. In fact there's no web browsers or anything else in there at all. It's just um, a base Arch with um, Cinnamon on top. Uh, so this is what we're going to be, a similar thing we're going to be creating. So uh, to get Arch, uh, doesn't matter whether you're using Windows or Linux for this, um, go to a web browser and click download Arch and you've got archlinux.org forward slash download and if you scroll down you'll find a list of mirrors and you look for one in your country and I quite like the bite mark one so I'm going to choose that and then I'm just going to choose the Arch Linux um, x86-64 ISO just like that and that's downloaded in the top corner here you see that so once that's finished downloading uh, you can open VirtualBox um, there's plenty of guides on this site showing you how to install VirtualBox but essentially you just need to uh, if you're a Windows user you just need to go to virtualbox.org download VirtualBox and install it and with uh, Linux you generally need to just install it from the package manager and once you've got VirtualBox installed we're going to click new and you're going to type arch, I'm going to call it auto install in my case and I need somewhere to put it so I'm going to put it with all my other virtual machines and I set this to 6182 which is my standard amount and then I'm going to set this to 30 gigabytes which is creating the virtual hard drive. Uh, so now we're going to go into settings uh, system processor and I, I whack this up to the maximum that you can get in the green bar click OK and then I'm going to click start. Now this is just creating a virtual machine uh, this isn't the important part, the important part is how to use the um, Arch installer so you're going to choose the Arch ISO that you downloaded earlier if it's not in this drop down list you can click this folder icon here click on add and you can go to your downloads folder and you pick the um, ISO image from there I'm not going to do that, it's already in my list so if it's in this list you can just select it like that click choose and then it's there and then you click start and you click the first option when the menu appears and here we are inside Arch so what we want to do now is type Arch install all one word and this gives you a text based installer so uh, first thing you want to do is click on the language and you can choose the language you want so in my case English and and then you're going to click on mirrors and you're going to click on mirror region and then you're going to go down to uh, where you are so in my case the United Kingdom you can either press um, spacebar or tab and then you press the return key to select it so you can see United Kingdom is selected there you don't need to choose custom mirrors uh, locales uh, you can choose your keyboard layout press return and then you're looking for the one for you so in my case it's UK and then you can choose the language in my case it's ENGB now with the UTF-8 and the encoding is UTF-8 and then you can go back and then you were looking at disk configuration so this is where you set up your hard drive and you can either do manual partitioning, pre matter configuration but um, I generally choose the best effort and it asks you to choose a disk now that one there is clearly the um, Arch ISO image uh, this one is your 
hard drive. Again, all you have to do is press the tab or space key to put an asterisk in the box and press return. And then you can choose the file system, and it's up to you which one you use. Um, I still like um, ext4. And then we've got disk, disk encryption. You can say yes or no to that. I'm not going to do it. And then you choose your bootloader. So you've got Grub or Lamine. I'm going to choose Grub. And then do you want to swap? Yes or no? Uh, I'm going to leave it as true. And then you've got to give it a host name. So I'm going to call mine Arch Linux Auto. And then you can set a root password. So you press return, set the root password. If it's not a good one, it will tell you. And then you can create a user account. Uh, so you press return here, you can add a user and you give the user a name. And then you enter the password. Again, if you've got a weak password, it will tell you. And should Gary be a super user? Yes or no? I'm going to choose yes. And then you can either add another user or you can click confirm and exit. I'm going to do that. And so that will create me one user. And you go into profile. And then the type. And then you've got different types of Arch that you can install. So you can install a desktop operating system, a minimal one, a server, or an Xorg. Uh, I'm just going to do desktop. And then you can choose the desktop environment or window manager you want. So uh, for instance, you can uh, choose in my demo um, earlier, I chose Cinnamon, um, but I also had Enlightenment installed. Uh, but it's up to you which one you choose. Uh, so this time I think I'm going to go KDE. And again, you just put space in each one that you want to choose. So uh, let's go KDE and Sway. And press Return. Uh, choose an option to give Sway access to your hardware. Uh, I'm just going to choose Pole Kit. And you just use all the default options there. That's what I'm doing. Then you go back when you're finished. Uh, you can change your display manager. The default is SDDM, but you can go LightDM or GDM. Uh, but because it's KDE that I've chosen, SDDM is quite a good choice. So I click back, and then you choose your kernel. So by default, it's the Linux kernel, the latest one available. But you can go for a, a long-term support release, or a hardened release, or the Zen release. Uh, but I, I'm sticking with the, the Linux one. And then you can add additional packages. Uh, so if you wanted to add um, editors or you wanted to install a web browser or something like that, you give a, a, the name of all the um, packages you want installed um, here. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I prefer doing that um, at the end. So just press return. Uh, network configuration, you want to do this definitely. and. I would recommend using Network Manager, especially if you're using KDE. Uh, time zone, press return, and uh, you're looking for your where you are in the world. So I'm Europe, um, not London, but that's that's the same uh, time zone. This will set your clock for you, and then you can add optional repositories and you can save the configuration. But all we want to do is click install gives a list uh, in JSON format of everything you've chosen and then you press enter and now it's going to format the virtual disk and then it's going to start installing and then it's going to start installing Arch Linux and I'll come back when it's finished as you can see we're towards the end now uh, just to check in package integrity not long to go now And now it's start. It's finished downloading, so it's now installing the the applications. So uh, now it says, would you like to change root into the newly created installation perform post installation configuration? I'm going to say no. And that's the install complete. And uh, now you can restart. It says, uh, I would actually shut down. Shut down now would be the clever thing to do. Shut down on its own, sets it in advance. Uh, so now that's shut down, uh, you're going to want to uh, go into settings, 
go into storage and click there and right click remove attachment remove click OK and now you can click start and Arch Linux should be installed and I should be able to log in there we go, uh, if I go full screen you see it's not, but if I right click and click on configure display settings I can go down here and I can pick 1920 by 1080 click apply and you can see it's gone full screen so I click keep, that's that uh, we've got the welcome, KD welcome, so you can click your way through that. And that's the end of this video. Now, obviously, not everything's working. You haven't got a web browser. You haven't got um, any applications installed, but that's a video for another day. And if you click on discover, it actually says, which is the tool you normally use for installing software, it says uh, Discover cannot be used to install any apps because it's got none of the background um, backends um, attached. But this bit here, note that Arch Linux developers recommend using Pac-Man for managing software because the package kit backend is not well integrated on Arch Linux. So um, that's something to bear in mind. Control Alt T brings up a terminal. So if you do want to install um, any software, you should be able to do sudo pacman minus s and the name of the software you want to install. So for instance, um, Firefox. And you can see Firefox is now installed and we can see if we've got a network connection. And there we have it. Um, at this point, I'd like to um, ask you to like the video. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button. And that's the end of the video. So I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.